Welcome, welcome all. Obviously, once again, back at it. We've got Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea. My head's on. Uh, Southampton versus Everton at the Everton game. This would be the fixture if it was um, obviously happening in real life. And we are remaking it over on FIFA against the E-Prem player for Everton, which is Battle Cat. Um, Cat Pipa, who also represents Fierce Esports um, within the esports scene. But yeah, this should be an interesting one. We've um, we've changed up a few of the, the settings. We've gone with an 85 rated mode due to... Um, I think it just will make the games a little bit more fair um, just in the future as well when we play teams like City and that. So we've all got the same rating players. Everything's set in 85 rated mode. And hopefully we can uh, we can come away with a win. You know, we, we had a nice little win last week. Vestergaard, there's a few changes to the lineup. Vestergaard's come in. Obafemi has come in. But we've kept the core mostly. Just a few changes. I wanted to try a few things out on this mode with Vestergaard's height. I think he could be really uh, useful. Obviously, his normal ca uh, card is a little bit slow. So, this with the 85 rate mode, it's boosted a few stats and pace has been one of them. So, let's see what we can do. Uh, once again, as always, though, the main reason is to... Oh, easy! Come on! One new up already, yeah? Easy. Getting on the score sheet straight away. I just want to say, everyone, please stay at home if you can. I know it is tough times for everyone right now. No football. Nothing really to, like, entertain us when we are at home. So it is a little bit difficult. But stay at home. If you do have to go outside, please, please, please keep two metres away from everyone and keep your distance. It's better for yourself and the others around you. Um, if you have masks, wear them, you know, there's little, there's everything you can do to, you know, make your situation better. So here, anyway, let's get into the, the gameplay. Obviously, a nice little 1-0 start here. Um, you know what we're like here, you know, we've changed the style, maybe what you guys usually see with Southampton. A nice quick counter-attack football is what you probably see on the weekends, but... We've more come with a slow approach now just due to how the game is played on FIFA. It's better to sometimes just be slower, take your time, wait for the chances to appear, you know? Don't know what Jed's doing up there, though. Go on, Redders. I played. Oh, Pen! Oh, Fear Walker's lunging in over there on the left side. Redders, that pass was all over the place as well, you know. Like, we weren't going anywhere. We'll take a penalty, though. Oh, this could go 2 0 up here. Let's see what we got. Prowsey stepping over it. We've obviously got the arrow. Let's go. 2 0. James Ward Prowse making it to. And you guys want to know how to take pennies? There's going to be some content coming out helping you guys improve your FIFA skills very soon over on the Southampton socials um, from myself. You know, helping you guys out to improve, obviously, with a lot of time off. A lot of you can up your FIFA skills and obviously get a little bit better. Maybe beat your mates in some, you know, 1v1s, uh, whatever you guys play, you know, at home. So hopefully some tips can help you. And, uh... Hopefully you can get some results like this, you know. So once again, starting a nice 2-0 clean start from us. Nice Bertrand. I think Bertrand's still got Maras in his back pocket. And I did have a little uh, talk with Walker Peters. And he said Raheem sort of came out with his shell, you know. Um, when he was in the back pocket, he... We wanted to have a little wor uh, word with Walker Peters. He's like, how how did you have me in the pocket for so so easy? And he was just like, just another day in the office for me, son, you know? That'll do. Oh. And here comes the wing play. What could be quite lethal. Vestergaard... This is what I wanted to have Vestergaard in for. Look at the height and the strength he can bring with his character build. That was why 
I'm kind of happy we went to 85 mode because Vestergaard will be super overpowered when it comes to that. Obviously, he's still going to be slightly slower maybe than some like Jack Stevens would be, but the height and with how the game is, good save, Angus Gunn. Um, he could be great for us in this back line. Um, we've put Angus Gunn in as well. As I said, that there is a few changes to the lineup. Angus Gunn in, he's also going to be doing some content for the E Premier League very soon. Um, we've got something coming up tomorrow uh, between us two, maybe helping him out to prepare. I think every Premier League team is going to get somebody to represent them on FIFA. And Angus Gunn is obviously the Southampton representative. So you'll see some content from him coming very shortly. Unlucky, good read as well. Nice little um, jump of a line there. I don't know if you saw what he did there. He uh, he was marking the run. He gave it to me. And then as soon as he noticed I was going to play that pass down the line, he pushed him up. But good start, man. 2-0, you know. My hands are freezing once again, boys and girls. You know, like, oh, I need to get like a heater for my hands or something. It's not even like cold outside. It's just cold in my room every time. Nice early sub there from Battle Cat himself. Do you know what? What's quite interesting about that, you know, I think not many managers do that in real life, you know. I think Marino might have been the only one who I've actually seen to do a, a sub within the first half when he's due to, um, like, the tactical approach he's had is wrong, you know. I played Vesta. The key is now, I'll be honest with you, we've got the lead, like, he needs to now probably make some moves what's going to force me into some mistakes. Or, you know, something magical from his end. Obi. Go on, Obi. I wonder if they've got his dance move set on this game as well, you know? That could be interesting. Go on, Jeddas. Marlene. Big tackle, son. Well out, Ingzy. Does his defensive duties as well. He's not just an attacker. He doesn't just get on the score sheet. And out, Obi. Ooh. See, there, I knew I was outnumbered. I was trying to push away from the player who was on me, which was Digne. But, in reality, I should have just, like, rotated it. Gone backwards, you know. Kept the possession. Well in, Hoiberg. We having one of them games today, Hoiberg. Is that what we're doing? Having one of them games where you just dominate this midfield. 45th minute. We're going to send it wing if we can. We can't. Prowsey. Get over. I played. I played. Can we get another attack? Oh, good slide tackle there. And he's kicked it out. That's another little thing as well. If it's 45th minute and you don't want to do an attack or you don't want the opponent to have an attack and you see the time's gone, if you kick the ball out of play, it will blow for half time and full time, of course, if you're at the, the 90th minute mark. But 2 0. You know, we are sailing, I would like to say. You know, quite a controlled game. Two shots, two goals. Obviously, Ingsy opening it up with just a typical Ingsy style goal, you know. And then, of course, um, Prowsey conversion from the penalty spot. What I'm going to do, once again, the impact man himself from yes uh, last week, the double double man, really, against Man City. Stuart Armstrong's coming on in that cam roll, just behind the striker with that Ingsy link-up. We saw the Ingsy Redmond link-up last time, and that was very crucial to um, beat and see. So hopefully Stu can come on, have a very similar impact within that cam roll for us. Maybe we can uh, we can either get another or we just settle up as this, you know. The key is, though, 
as we might have seen a few previous weeks, we was a little bit too aggressive here and there in our defence, you know. And that is something, as I said, I need to work on and hopefully I have worked on. Try and not make any mistakes. You know what, give him simple chances, give him the ball. We've got to make him work for the chances. Because he's going to make us work, so. Go on, Eningzi. Oh. Go on, Emperors. Go on, Emperors. All the way. Oh, that was lucky the whistle went there. He actually, he read the the kick out um, from Bestergaard for the ref. <laughs> we mess up. We, we can't be having Mike Dean from last week. Mike Dean was against us, but. While in Bertrand. While in. While in Walker's Peters. Things he's been set on the run. And once again, as you see, I'm outnumbered. I've got one player ahead of me, but everyone else is behind me. So this is where we just got to play it slower. Take our time. Bertrand. He's gone to a more of a, a press sort of style as well. Now I can see he might be pressure on heavy touch just to try and force me to basically play a little bit quicker. Maybe that could cause some mistakes from my end, of course. Um, so this is where we got to be a little bit more sensible with it. John Walkers. Oh, I think Raheem's still there, mate. What's that, the back pocket? Yes, son. As you see, though, this is where he's... Go on, it's true. Ingsy. Redders. What have you got? Little magic? Little magic? Oh... We got a back turn to him as well. I thought we was going to have him there on the little half turn. Could he... he might be trying to play a through ball there. Watch the runs. That's the most important part. The attacking runs is the important part. Not played. Go on, Andrew. Ooh. Take the free kick. Take the free kick. Oh, come on then. 65th minute. The game the game started with life, you know. The game started with life. Lots of goals. Obviously, once I've got the lead, though, I'm not going to be trying to push it too hard. I am going to be still trying to score, of course. But at the end of the day, he's the one who's got to come to me um, and make the chances. Well played, Bertrand. These wing bats, I'm telling you, last two weeks, you know, they've learned from their mistakes against Watford. Because Watford, whew, their attackers had a field day against us. But, oh, he's through. He's potentially through. It's all about the, the cover, the recovery. And that's what Ryan's there for. My plays. Gonna do a sub when the ball goes off nets as well. Go on then, Stu. Go on then, Stu. Go on then, Stu. Ho -ho -ho. Go on then, Hoy. A little bit too much once there from Battle Cat. You know, that was something what we noticed what we was doing a lot. I would say last week and the couple, just basically just the weeks in general. Like, I was just saying, just press shoot, you know, we'll, we'll score. Um, I think he might have had the angle, but he was obviously trying to do that one more just to get that perfect chance, which is a common thing, really, when it comes to, like, competitive FIFA. Um, I feel like a lot of people will just shoot just in general, like... Even outside the box. For me, I don't even think I've, I'll shoot outside the box once. So, Now play. We've read every lane. Got into the press as well. Let's see what Redders can do. 
Look at the link up. This is, this is the triangle I was going on about when I brought on Stu. I think Stu might have to start next week. The link up between them three. Magical. Ball hasn't gone off as well, so we haven't been able to do our sub. But. I'll play walkers. Well played. Nice step up. Defense has been unlocked here, boys. We're learning. We're learning from our mistakes, you know, slowly. But the problem is, is when people press us, like, our, our situation there, which is something else we will need to improve. Once again, a little bit aggressive with the wing back, but we forced him into... Because he's got a score, you know. That's why we are going to be a little bit more aggressive there. And it looks like this could be all wrapped up for Southampton 2-0. Walkers Peters, you know, as I said, I went, when I went 2-0 up very early, I'm not going to, you know, try and force the attack every single time. I'm going to be trying to take my time and try and break, up the, break through quite a nice approach. But obviously he defended really well 